so guys one key car garage back at you and uh we are back on the w220 the 2004 s430 formatic um today we are going to be replacing the uh coolant temperature sensor All right got this down at the local parts store and that's the um part number normally i get it from uh fcpu or somewhere like that but um trying to get this done today and in the interest of time and you know how shipping are nowadays guys so um reason why we're changing this out we got the um the engine check light for the coolant temperature sensor and um it's gonna be right under here and uh as you see we've removed the cover the plastic cover for um the engine and this secondary air pump here uh, it's just a matter of uh unplugging that it's just that one bolt it's a torx bolt and um it's a 12 all right and uh it's just a matter of loosening that up this comes apart remove that and um the sensor I'm not sure if i can take you so you can see in here sensor is right here and uh there's a plug on top of it and uh that's what we're gonna do today guys easy speed well 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 so guys this was interesting so we got this piece off right and like i said it's just one bolt holding it in place and um it's connected via that rubber housing right there right here okay so we pull this off and this is one bolt i'm talking about so we took this off and uh this is what happened this thing just disintegrated in my hand so there was no coolant temperature sensor reading going on there all right it appears as if whoever did the water pump may have uh, damaged this somehow but that's a plug that comes off the sensor and that's the rest of the sensor in the block right there and um, to get that out grab one of these and I'm gonna have to get on here twist and turn and work it out so I'll get back with you guys all right oh I forgot to mention that there's a pin here or clip that actually goes over the sensor like that to hold it in place so you just pop that up with a screwdriver or something and that's it. back at you so guys this is where we are we had to <laughs> wow drill this out basically Wait up. am I on the camera there it is we had to drill the brittle plastic pieces out of it um, and then use this to kind of soften up the edges dig in there and pluck it out so that's what we're dealing with new one is in I'm gonna reinstall the cutter pin here and we should be on our way all right and just like that she's in guys with a cutter pin don't forget to replace that all right and now as you reinstall the air box here the secondary air pump you want to make sure that those two grooves go into two, those two grooves first okay so bear with me with the camera here I'm going to make sure that 
you get it. And those two plugs, you see that? Bam, just like that. Then I'm gonna throw this back on top. Doing this one handed. Alright, so we're back in. We're gonna reinstall the screw that holds it into place. Don't forget the ground wire. Alright. I'm gonna connect that up and uh, don't forget your plug. Alright, and that should be it, guys. You're done. All right, one key up.